Okay, so 37 ways to make money with Bolt.new. So I can't go through all of these ways in this video. So I made a list of them, a PDF. You can download it in the link in the description. So I'm just going to go through my favorite top four ways that you can make the most money to using a tool like Bolt.new or Lovable.dev. So the first one is called lead generation, right? So this is really simple to just set up a, a website with Bolt.new. This is the one that I'm doing at the moment, right? So you just have to think about local services and what do local services need? They need more leads, right? So you basically find them leads online and you sell these leads and they will pay you per lead. So for example, uh, you could have a local lawyer, right? So here is just a, a way to get started to think about it. What are some common law documents that people need in Portland, Oregon? So I recommend doing this locally wherever you're living because culturally it's just easier to meet people and think about your own network who do you know right that provides a service like this and say hey do you want more leads and they'll probably be like yeah yeah we want more leads so we're kind of just creating websites with you know information about all this okay this could be a bit more difficult a lawyer right i'm also thinking any sort of you know accountant all these people you know they charge quite a, a lot of money so they can pay you a lot per lead and you kind of just need to convince them to just say, well, like, how much are you spending on Google Ads? It's like, well, you can just pay me instead and just pay me for every single lead instead of kind of wasting money on Google Ads. Sometimes you don't even get leads. You don't even get good leads, right? So you can also filter the leads, right? And how it works, you know, you could just have something like this. So I'll just put a dentist one here. And then, so I don't even know what this is, endodontics. Anyway, this is why you use ChatGPT for research. And then you find the different dentists, right? And then what you just do is like basically say this guy here, just reach out to him and say, here, do you want to pay to be like the number one? You can make him featured there. You can see they're also running ads. So that's a good way to more ads, right? So some of these sites are running ads. Uh, I probably wouldn't run ads myself. I would just be, you know, trying to reach out to these people and say, here, do you want to pay to be featured? Because, you know, this came up first in Google, this website for a dentist in Portland, right? And if you have one guy here at the top, then everyone's going to go and you go, I recommend this guy because X, Y, Z, then everybody's going to go there and you just say, well, here, you can pay to be a featured dentist. Okay, so you could also create something like a calculator, right? That's something I'm doing. Bolt on you, super easy to do stuff like this. Uh, these are also running ads, right? Plenty of ads on their website, a bit of information here. So this is super easy to do with Bolt on you now. Uh, Bolt is really good at that. And yeah, again, I would just be like, want your accountants uh, do, do you need an accountant to do your taxes for you um, sign up here and have a form either there sticky there or somewhere there that they see it right because people would like to calculate all this stuff but look how complicated it gets quite quickly they're gonna be like oh, i don't want to do this so you know get an accountant basically so after lead gen generation we have directory sites so these sites can make a lot of money I found this one from this video so if you want to learn more about directories this guy Frey Chu talks all about uh, directory websites in this one and this will be quite easy to replicate with um, bolt.new right this map feature might be a bit more difficult but you can you can make it more easy you know easier just by having different pages here right and then uh, linking all the different hot springs. This one is making a bit of money. This one's also running ads. Um, this is actually a sign that it's using Mediavine. So they're actually making good money from ads. Okay, I also found this one is kind of a mix between a directory and a website. You can kind of mix these two, right, a little bit. And because this one is kind of a directory of places that play pickleball, right, this you could definitely, definitely make a bolt. That new, no problem, right? And this one just recently sold for $42,500. Okay, so I'm not really saying to go out and just copy these things. These things always work the best when you do the research and you just, boom, you think of a niche, right, that nobody's ever picked before. This is obviously a very popular and growing sport, so it's an easy one. So think about that, right? What is something that's popular and trending? Go to a platform like Exploding Topics or Glimpse and find new topics that are popping off now. So the third way is to start your own agency. You could do like an AI automation agency, right? And I found this a tool here called Bolt Starter, right? So you can get like your, your creative agency website super fast, right? So just start your agency. You can just use this as, you know, a, a first 
draft of a website. So this is what your website could be, right? And then you just need some people to get to it, right? You have to think about the marketing. How are you gonna market this? You could use uh, Twitter, uh, X, sorry, uh, or LinkedIn, or make videos on YouTube like this one, or so do something like that, right? This is the last one then, sell your services, as in sell the fact that you use Bolt.new. I know people who, you know, even me, I would like somebody who's an expert in Bolt.new to help me out, right? And to create more projects quickly, right? Because, you know, with, with Bolt.new, the power now is like we can create hundreds and hundreds of websites that are all, you know, making money and then, you know, look back in a year's time after that and go, okay, this one's the best, right? So people also want MVPs, right? So this is just an example of a service, right? I found this in Niall Doherty's email, the Ebus fax, right? So this guy's made $20,000 revenue for a small agency in one three, right? So... He's finding the projects on Upwork. That would be a good idea. So the power of AI is just incredible, right? I would kind of be upfront and honest and be like, okay, you know, there's certain things that you won't be able to build in Bolt.new. I think he uses a cursor. So I'd also be familiar with tools like V0 and cursor, which I think he uses here. So yeah, you can learn a lot from this as well, right? The MVP build the strategy and the design, right? So you can learn a lot from uh, looking at some other businesses. Okay, so you also need to think about how you're actually gonna get traffic to these websites and apps that you're creating. And that's why I created the AI SEO course. So you can think about how powerful AI coding is. Well, AI is also amazing for SEO, but I'm not just trying to sell you this, even if it's not suitable for you. I definitely think it's worth thinking, how can I get how best can I get traffic to my product, right? If, I, if you're building a product, right? There's tons of SaaS product. Obviously, SaaS is one of the best ideas for building with Bolt.new, right? And SEO is a really, really powerful way to get people to your SaaS product. It depends a little bit, right? I think maybe for more boring businesses, SEO works better. And then maybe if you have a kind of, you know, really beautiful app or website then that's possibly better to use something like TikTok or social media right you have to really think about there's, there's always two ways to market though right if you think about it there's two types of content there's content that people are actively searching for like in the first example right let's go back to chat gpt so i think about this in terms of awareness right so you know the, these things maybe people don't think about but if you put it in front of them and go oh yeah that that's uh, relevant to me and then they need to go searching to find out more information about this so they could use chat gpt but let's face it most people are still using google and you know they're not really going to try and find all this information on tiktok are they so it really depends on what your niche is sometimes social media is better sometimes seo is better and basically i put in all the information into this course about how i've had 10 probably 12 million people to all my websites through SEO. So if you wanna learn my systems, I'll leave this down in the link in the description down below as well. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed uh, this video and all the other ways will be there for free. I'll leave it in the description too.